What's up people, Jessica here and welcome to Critic. Low levels of calcium could cause tetany, seizures and cardiac dysrhythmias, so it's important to recognize the condition and know what to do. This video will teach you just that. Let's get started. Let me start out by saying that for calcium disorders, but especially in hypocalcemia, it's vital to check if you're dealing with true hypocalcemia. As mentioned in my one critical minute video, low albumin causes total serum calcium to drop, but free calcium can be normal. Now let's assume we've checked for this and we're dealing with a true hypocalcemia. How do we go about this? Calcium is regulated primarily by parathyroid hormone and vitamin D. Parathyroid hormone stimulates calcium resorption in the kidney and calcium release from bone. It also stimulates renal production of active vitamin D, which increases gastrointestinal calcium absorption. So that immediately gives us two main causes of hypocalcemia, low PTH and low vitamin D. Hypoparathyroidism is usually seen after thyroid surgery, but it can also be as a result of an autoimmune disorder. Causes of low vitamin D levels can be subdivided into three categories. Low exposure to vitamin D, either low sunlight exposure or low dietary intake, malabsorption, and chronic renal insufficiency, leading to an impairment of the conversion of inactive vitamin D to active vitamin D by the kidneys. Now we're missing a few. I'll skip the extremely rare ones and focus on the ones that I personally find more important. Alkalosis. In severe alkalosis, proteins like albumin are ionized. This causes free calcium to bind with these proteins and causes effective hypocalcemia. Note that total serum calcium is normal and albumin is normal as well. It's just that more calcium is bound to that albumin. So in this specific instance, you'd need to measure ionized calcium directly. Fortunately, most ABG analyzers do that automatically. Magnesium. Both elevated as well as low magnesium levels can cause hypocalcemia. For the first, the mechanism is unknown. In the latter, it is because hypomagnesemia decreases PTH release and increases PTH resistance. Drugs. Notably, bisphosphonate treatment and loop diuretics. Transfusion. Packed cells contain citrate, which binds to calcium. Hypocalcemia frequently presents asymptomatic. Symptoms are mainly neuromuscular. They include muscle twitching, spasms, tingling, and numbness. In more severe cases, they can progress to tetany, seizures, and cardiac dysrhythmias. There are two clinical tests that are associated with hypocalcemia. Chivostex sign, tapping the parotid gland over the facial nerve which induces facial muscle spasm. This test has poor sensitivity of 29%. Trousseau sign, mild hypoxia induced by inflation of a blood pressure cuff precipitates carpal pedal spasm. This has a great sensitivity of 94%. Now that you know the symptoms, causes, and complications of hypocalcemia, you know what additional tests to order. Calcium, albumin, ionized calcium, magnesium, phosphate, potassium, creatinine, vitamin D, and PTH, and get an ECG. So what do you do? Asymptomatic patients without ECG changes in calcium levels over 1.9 millimoles per liter can be treated orally with calcium carbonate 1 to 2 grams a day. Symptomatic patients should be treated intravenously, and if you see ECG changes, keep your patient on the monitor and consider medium care admission. IV treatment is with calcium gluconate. Start with 10 cc's, which equals 2.25 millimoles, and, depending on the severity, repeat after 10 minutes. Consider starting continuous infusion with 10 to 20 millimoles per 24 hours. Check calcium levels every 4 hours and continue until calcium is above 2. Then switch to oral supplementation if symptoms and ECG changes have resolved. Supplement vitamin D and magnesium if needed. That's hypocalcemia in a nutshell. If you're looking for a more in-depth explanation of the pathophysiology, I highly recommend the videos by Dr. Eric Strong. I'll put a link in the description. Let me know what you think about this video. Share it if you liked it and subscribe for more.